match. He took it with great aplomb, I'm sure getting the first goal gave him the confidence to grab the second chance here. 3-1 the scoreline as we restart the game. Alan McAnally with the news there, always on the ball, Alan, as he was as a player. And it will be a free kick here. Barry Bannon. Tom Lees. Patience is the name of the game at the moment. Maybe he'll cross it here. I think the opposition looked as though they believed they'd get through them, but they haven't, and now they can get on the ball and play. Going for goal! A corner for Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, this crowd's been starved of excitement, starved of action. Will they get a little bit here? He's put in the corner. Oh, surely, no! It. Oh, that was the opportunity to get them back in this contest. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. He's got support here. Got to be. And he's taken the chance beautifully. Well, if you look back through the archives, you'll see that this player has scored quite a few from these kind of distances, and it is enough. I have to say, it's so one-sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Barry Bannon. The fourth official has indicated Excellent work with the tackle. Of three minutes of added time. A chance to break away now on the counter. Guiding the pass through. Here's a chance. It's a goal. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances. And he was. Well, there is a big difference between these two teams, and that goal has meant it's reflected in the scoreline. I think uh, it's going to be a stroll from here on in because they've got a big cushion, rightly so, well in the lead. You don't often see this, such a one-sided first half. They never really got going, the opposition, and they're surely out of the contest. Oh, well, a real sense of surprise here as the half-time whistle goes. Plenty of distance into the clearance. Lost control, and you get in trouble for that. That, at any time in the match, is a yellow card offence, and he's not going to escape. A change in atmosphere, Alan, because they are safe now. That's been guaranteed. Gary Hooper! It's a fast start. You don't often get a first half as one-sided as this one. They've been very good, the team that are leading, of course. It's good vision to be able to switch the play there. He has cleared it well. Well, they're not happy. We can all hear it. And you can't really blame them because their team, strangers to the ball of late. got a chance to get the cross in.
Not often, Alan, do you see one man have one half like he's had. Seemed to be all over the pitch in that first half. And he was in the box when it mattered to grab himself a couple of goals. His team can certainly be thankful for his performance and for their lead. With great vision here. Oh, they thought they were in, but the flag has gone up. Goal news from Huddersfield. It's a goal for Huddersfield Town. 54 minutes played. Excellent vision. Dangerous pass, I think, with the keeper pushing it away. It's their corner. He's put in the corner. Oh, no scraps for the attackers to feed on from the goalkeeper that time. Hung on to the ball well. Well, this is a real shock. You can see it in the faces of the players. And you can hear it in the lack of noise, if you like, from the supporters. Well, those fans can't even be bothered to give their players any stick at the moment. They're just stunned into silence. They've set it up well for the cross. The shot's on! Close, difficult angle. Maybe did well to get that close. I oh, was surprised he actually went for goal there, but uh, in the end, got the keeper a bit worried. Shot on! The ball's loose. Goalkeeper made the save, but he couldn't hold it. A real problem if he loses the ball. Never keep the ball here under some pressure. A penalty at Watford. It's a penalty for Watford. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Big opportunity. Does he go for power? Oh, he's trying to clip it down the middle. The goalkeeper's read it. And now he looks a fool. 61 minutes played. It remains 1-0. Cheers, Alan. Well, the cross has gone in, but there's no one there to get on the end of it. Looking for an opening with some... And now the shot! Absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper. Lazar. Time for the substitutes, I think, and the substitution for the home team here. News of a goal from Watford. It's a goal for Bristol City. It's been scored by Andreas Weimann. Scored from a good way out. With... And here's the shot. He's given it penalty. Oh, I think he's got it spot on too. Definite foul. Well, clearly a foul, but whether the referee sees that as a yellow card, he doesn't. No, I do like this ref, Martin. He just gets silly. He's fairly lenient now, and I'm with him on it. Great penalty! And that has got the goal from the penalty spot. Well taken. Well, he enjoys the responsibility, and he took that coolly. Well, lots of goals for you to digest here. 5-2, still time to play. Both defenders will be furious with that because they were seeing the game out quite comfortably, it seemed, but a little bit of loss of concentration and they've lost a goal. Yeah, maybe you can understand it. It's been so uh, easy for them out there that they've taken the foot off the gas. And now he's looking for some support. Cleared away, well away from goal. Full volume from the Rangers supporters here at Loftus Road. Really are in full voice, aren't they? And uh, I fancy their players to see this lead through. Gone short with the corner. Well, he's cut that out well, well read. Lazar. Quick-witted and quick in his movement too to intercept there. They could pose some danger now. They blocked it there. 
Coming up now, a corner. The ball's just deflected behind for that. Decided that this time they're going to play the short corner. Now he's looking for support. And it's Williams. Makes a challenge here. And the winners have been really on top of their game. Gets his cross in. Oh, it's a brilliant volley. It deserved better. Just clipping the frame of the goal. Oh, the crowd enjoyed that one on the feet. I think he thought he'd scored with it. To Hall. Alan McAnally's at the Britannia Stadium today, and he's got some news for us. Alan? It's a second goal for Stoke City. Ten minutes remain. 2-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Well, it will be a throw-in. Got the tackle in. The countdown is on. We're into nine minutes now. Shot's on here. And it's a goal here. Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. Well, let's take another look at the goal. A very comfortable margin for victory. Can't really be any comeback in the time that we've got left with such a difference between the two teams. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Here and Lee. They've set it up well for the cross. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Five more minutes here. Lees. Well, let's hear from Alan McAnally, who's got news of us sending off at the game he's watching. It's a red card for the visitors. They're down to ten men. Three minutes remain. It remains 2-0. Cheers, Alan. Hall. Well, that's over the top of the defender, and one to chase. Going to take the corner. He's put in the corner. The shot's on! Well, the hands that didn't look so secure look a bit safer now. Yeah, that'll make him feel a little bit better about himself. <laughs> to ooze around the uh, crowd for a three-minute add-on, which is what we're going to get for added time. Looking for teammates in the middle. But that's the keeper's ball from the moment the cross left his foot. Here's Josh Onoma. Good vision. Awkward for the goalkeeper, but he was positive and just beat the attack. It's over, and the referee blows the whistle for the last time. Well, that's it for this game. That's it for this season, and that's pretty much for you and me. Enjoyed it, mate. As always, Martin, they seem to go quicker and quicker. Can't believe it's been about nine months since that first ball was kicked. It was absolutely extraordinary, exceptional, elegant, excellent. So often we think of his creative abilities, that knack of picking out a pass, but today it was all about his finishing. A really good couple of goals in this team win. Put into the middle. He scored! Well, how long did that lead last, Martin? Not long at all, and the manager down there is absolutely furious.